Ah, I've heard so much about you. You may be the jelly to our jam. <laughs> Charlie, lights. Okay, miss. Slate. Uh, slate. Oh, sorry about that. Can you hear me? Yeah. Well, can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. I can hear. Slate, please. I, uh, what? If we're talking about pencils? Who are you? I'm uh, Rochelle Woods from Van Nuys. Do you know what you're doing? I think so. Should I not know? I'm going out for the role of the queen. I could go out and come back in. Well, when you slate, you say, my name is Rochelle, and I'm going for the role of the queen. Okay? Don't listen to him, Rochelle. Sweetie babe. Tussy roll. You're beautiful, darling. Beautiful. I want you to find that beauty. Close your eyes and just imagine beauty. Listen to him, but don't listen to him. Do you know what I mean? One ear in and one ear out. Let's just try this again. Slate. My name is Rochelle, and I am trying out for the role of the queen. Good! <laughs> Good. Great. Where's her paperwork? Charlie, where the hell is her paperwork? She doesn't have any. I'm sorry, that was my fault. I shouldn't have brought her in. No, no, I'm here. I, I'm worth it. No resume. No way to know that you're not a broad sticking Twinkies of her ass. That's just gorgeous. Hey, uh, Rochelle. Baby Ruth, look, no need to be so nervous, okay? Like I said, understand the words coming out of his mouth. Okay? Jack, you are an actor? Shut your mouth! I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. Just be silent, please. What do you have, Miss Woods? You're wasting our time. Charlie, you're wasting my time by even bringing her in! If there's so much time being wasted, why can't it be recycled? What? L look. Rochelle, do you expect me to remember every skin tone of your cracked up, pimple headed face? I mean, this is no ho. What makes you so special? Well, I have money. Well, this theater cannot be bought. Actually, we need money. Wait, we can be bought? Be quiet, Charlie. I'm the director. You watch, I lead. I talk, you listen. Okay? Do we eat fast food? Rasha? It's Michelle, and no, I, I'm on a spirit cleanse. And here's some love for the spirit. Fast food is what you are. See, in this town, you're either eating the fast food, serving the fast food, or starving because you want something better than fast food. So let me starve without your goddamn money giving me something to relax about. I don't want leisure, I don't want happiness, I want truth. In other words, theater is dying and all the rest of you sheep are killing it. So don't come back, okay? Next! Shall we give her a call back? Mm. Why not? I liked her. Ah, I've heard so much about you. You may be the jelly to our jam. <laughs> so, I'm here with my best friend, Jackie J, at our agent's office. I got Jackie J a deal because, well, he's a character. People say that I'm an entitled asshole. And you know what? I kind of take that as a compliment. If you know what you're doing, you shouldn't have to put up with people who don't. You deserve to be entitled. Someone's got to be that way. Hard work pays off, and now I'm going to get what I deserve. So, what can I do for the two of you today? Well, not for him. For me. Not me first, all right? Excuse me? Okay, Jay, what can I help you with? 
I want my money, man. I want my money now. What money? My money, broski. 10%. If you don't hand me that block of cheddar cheese, I might have to grade your eyes. Jay, uh, you're supposed to pay me 10%? Not the other way around. Speaking of that anyway, where's the 10% you owe me from the last project? That is Jackie J. He's a character. Proceed. Well, as you know, we're about to begin our production of Richard II. And, I think you know, brevity is the soul of wit. And after all the accolades we're going to get, obviously, I, I think it's time. William here is a huge Shakespeare actor. The elder on anything iambic. I am his agent. And he's the very best at what he does. My dearest friend. With a paycheck every time he shines his face. You know what? You're right. It's time. I know you've worked harder than most. The harder than everyone. It's time. It's time. <laughs> oh, you know it's time. It's time. Let's just say it together, shall we? One, two, three, Richard no more third. theater. Richard the third. No mass theater? Lunchtime? No, 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 no. Wallace, I am done with the theater. It's not good enough. I'm better than this. It's not paying the bills. Look, I'm living with my grandma in the valley, working midnights, washing windows at Moonji duty. Do you know what being a janitor feels like? I can't do this shit anymore. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow ain't gonna pay the bills. I gotta be famous. I gotta build and stay true to myself and what makes me, me. I gotta be famous. You just gotta be kidding, right? More theater? Why? So that I have to audition and bring up nobodies who are only trying to steal my spot? What about me? Hmm? What about William? I just want to move on up, and these people are keeping the William down. You know what? I don't need this. You know my greatness. You know what I can do. I do. I uh, do. Okay? That's why after Richard II, why not do Richard III? Why not hmm? Richard the Third, the movie? It's already been done before. Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen. Fuck Ian McKellen. Let's do it again. How dare you. Look, if you want to be original, what better way to do it than your own theater piece? No, he's right. I'm serious, man. I mean, let's pretend we don't ride on our own previous accolades and do another lazily, unoriginally original theater piece that has been done hundreds of times in a horrible, redundant fashion. Okay? We got this, Will. We got this. You know what? I don't need to hear this. You two are just trying to pull me down from my route. My path, my route will be straight, goddammit. Straight and elevated, goddammit. 4,000 feet, 4,000 fucking feet to the moon. Wouldn't it take a lot more than 4,000 feet to get to the moon? Also, I have one question for you. Mm. Particularly in theater, where is the best, you know what I mean, the best, most potent place to find the honeys these days, man? I need some girls, baby. Actors. I wasted time, and now time doth waste me. Or maybe time Wasted me before I wasted it. Or maybe now I wasted time. What the hell does this mean? I don't know how to take this first interview. I mean, what's, what's my process? Should, should I be ready, ready? Or maybe a kind of ready, ready? Or... Maybe not ready at all, but still be ready. Ha <laughs> ha,
keep time. Or is it? Ha ha. Or ha ha. And how do I keep time if I already race at it while keeping with my current objective? Nice work, my boy. Nice work. Really? You like that? Well, you fucked the verse. And I don't mean in a good way. Well, how would you do it? Well, there's a clear difference between making love and fucking. Making love is pleasant for everyone. Fucking is selfish for two. So, my dear boy, make love. Really put your balls into it. You know, use the language. Well, this isn't contemporary. This is Shakespeare. Speak the speech, I pray you, tripping me on the tongue. I like Bert. Well, I don't like him as an actor, but I like him. I don't really like him as a person either, too serious. Life deserves a little laughter, you know? He just needs to get his Shakespeare on point and maybe I can help him out. What? I can be nice? My interpreters of the human experience, welcome to the space. <laughs> oh, take a seat. Oh, don't be shy. Really, don't. Oh, but don't sit there. <laughs> welcome. Hmm. Since we all have our scripts, let's get to work right now. No talk, no discussion. Oh, my dear Hamlet, I almost forgot. We haven't introduced ourselves. You all know me. My name is Dane, and I will be your director. I'm new to North Hollywood, but from what I've seen, I love NoHo Theater, and I plan to keep doing this for the rest of my life. From what I've seen, I hate what Noah Theater has become, and at the way it's going, I plan to stop doing this for the rest of my life. Um, hi guys, my name is Charlie. I'm the assistant director. Um, I'm very easygoing, just don't piss me off. <laughs> if you have any questions, you can contact me and not Dane or Beverly. I'm Beverly and I'm your stage manager. So to all you actors, that means I'm your boss. Let's go around the circle and have everyone introduce ourselves. First of all, I'd like to say that even though we all know how prestigious our beloved Dane is, uh, brevity is the soul of wit. So, this is my monologue. I'll keep it short and sweet. I'm only here to help out a friend, of course. <laughs> uh, my name is William, and I'll be playing Bolingbroke. I should be playing Richard, but uh, I already did that. I have obtained award after award for my work with the Bard, and now I'm going for the Ovation Award. Oh wait, I already won the Ovation Award. I'm going for an Oscar, so all of this is just something to help pass the time. Oh, the hollowed crown. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm Bert. And I'm playing the lead. <laughs> okay, well, hello, everybody. It's 
me, Tammy, and I will be playing your female lead, the queen. Doesn't she only have one paragraph? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let's all settle down. We will all have our chance to speak. Rebecca, you're next. Hi, my name is Rebecca, and I have a lot to say. Uh, oh, in the interest of speeding things further, Jackie J, we're playing Baggett and the Duke of York. Blake, we're playing Thomas Mowbray. Timothy, we're playing Scroop. And Rebecca, we're playing John of Gaunt. All right, let's get to work. <laughs> I want you all to act as big as you want. Stella Adler always advocated size. Build your character by using yourself. In other words, build the character up from who you are to what the character will be. Be big by being small. And in that smallness into bigness, you'll be bigger than ever before by being small. Get it? Now, act. Oh, yes, indeed. All the world is a stage. Play on, players. Let us play on. <laughs> I know I can be a bit harsh, but art demands that. It demands discipline to find out the truth. I don't think. I know I will bring out the very best in my actors, and we will deliver an artistic triumph. Well, either that, or we'll film miserably, and I'll be laughed at in the press. Now off you go, Bert. I mean, Richard. <laughs> you never let me down. No. Oh. Ah. What the hell was that? That's not even in the script. I told him not to fuck the verse. Shakespeare demands respect. Do you respect the text? Of course I do. I've been working on this for 72 days, six hours, five minutes, and 34 seconds. Wrong, 36. Look, it's all a process. It's only the first day, only the First reading. <laughs> I thought he'd like that. I don't understand what the director wants in this moment. This is the problem with these directors. I just need some motivation or some super objective that he could show me. Directors don't understand actors and our processes. I'm trying to bring myself to this role and do something different. I want to stand out. I want Richard to be seen. I want to stand out. I want you to feel the words. Experience them as they come out as you. So just go ahead. And Jay, this is sacred. People have been performing this for centuries. They've also been performing this for centuries. <laughs> uh, sorry, boss. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all a process. First day. Yes. Uh, where were we? Uh, next line. My name is... Uh, my name is... Um, who hither, um, forth, uh, my oath? You didn't say your name. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did. No. Oh, no, I, I don't. Oh, oh, okay, just say your line again. <laughs> um, my name is... Your name is... Um, who, who hither, uh, come in... By my... Thomas Mowbray. Your name is Thomas Mowbray. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I know. Thomas Mowbray. Who hinder come engaged? Is by it my line yet? No. When I get really nervous, I start to laugh. I don't know why. Thomas Mowbray <laughs> is your name. How can you act if you don't know your name? Stop, 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 stop. I must speak to my client this instant. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>